Hey, it's Lon Welsh at Your Castle Real Estate, and I wanted to give you a couple talking points for what happened in December of 2021 in the real estate market versus December of 2020. So if we take a look at our listings, uh, we had 1,475 active listings at the end of December of this year. Normally it would be closer to 10 to 12,000, so we have almost no inventory. So if you take a look at the number of closings that we had in December, you can see that it was off about 14%. Certainly no lack of demand, there's just a lack of supply. Um, if we had a normal amount of inventory, I think you would have actually seen sales volume be up by several points. Showing traffic was really strong, um, stronger than the historical average, and I'm anticipating that showing traffic this spring will be unbelievably strong given the lack of inventory that we've got available. Pendings, or things that are under contract on the last day of the year. Uh, we were down about 3.5% from where we would normally be for our under contracts, so you should expect that the closing traffic in January will also be down probably between 2 and 5% from January of 2021, when you get the January 2022 results in. Um, price was up about 16% this December versus last December. That's been pretty consistent throughout the entire year. I've seen every possible forecast for what's gonna happen to home prices in 2022 from all these different experts. Some people are saying three or 4%, some people are saying 15. I think it's gonna be kind of on the higher end of that range given the insane amount of demand that we've got. Um, the economy is certainly doing well. Discounts. Uh, so the average property in December sold at a 1.5% premium to the asking price. So if it's a $500,000 listing, it probably sold for $507. Um, so you hear about these people you know, bidding $100,000 over the asking price, or there's 55 offers and it went for 10% you know, above ask. Uh, that does happen, but it is the exception, not the rule. The majority of the homes sell within a couple percentage points of the asking price of the house, uh, currently at a premium, but not by very much. Marketing times, it took about 18 days on average to get a home under contract. So you have this illusion that when a new listing comes on the market, you've got 18 minutes to get it under contract. And sometimes that's actually true, 18 minutes, 18 hours, but the average is actually 18 days. It's not quite as desperate as the headlines would want you to, to believe that it is. So the net of all this is that the market is a challenge, but it's not as grim as the media makes it out to be. It's still a great time to buy a house.